What's going on guys? I know a ton of you, including myself, are really excited for this event. Noctis has finally returned to DFF OO Global. And not only did he return, but he was returned to take his rightful seat as the king. Because this man is absurd in the game right now. He is the king of burst damage. And is just capable of doing some nutty stuff. So, if you chase after him, best of luck on your draws. Make no mistake, he needs that EX. So, if you're going after him, don't half-ass it. Give him the royal treatment, because he, the man will reward you, for sure. Mine does not have his EX. I'm waiting until early October-ish. That should be when the free EX shop opens up in Global. And his EX is the one I'm going to grab. So, he's not going to have his EX for a few weeks, but he's so busted that he doesn't super-duper need it right now, for the moment. So yeah, so what does Rework do? Well, it did a, it did a couple things for him. Some pretty pretty insane things. So, when he uses the base form of an attack on an enemy, it inflicts a debuff called uh, Point point Blank Warp? No. It's, I, whatever it's called. Lasts for three turns. And then when he uses a plus attack, he follows up with a really powerful counterattack. So we'll go ahead, I'll show it to you. So we'll do Shooting Star here. Point blank warp. Yep, there we go. Okay, so the enemy has that now. And now we'll go ahead and use the plus attack. So it does the damage, and then he follows up with the counterattack. So you can imagine, like during summon, for example, just how absolutely ridiculously strong <laughs> that is. <clears throat> uh, especially during Bahamut. So... Yeah, Noctis is he's he's a bit silly right now in terms of power, and it's it's pretty glorious. Also, when he's at five Armager stacks, which his EX gives him three if you have that full MLB, but when he's at five, his HP plus plus turns into an attack that then he does the damage or whatever, and then he follows it up with his with his throw the sword thingy thing. <laughs> This, where he, he the counterattack thing. Like, he has absurd longevity. The man's nuts. And what's funny is that he's one of those characters where his EX is so ancient and low damaging that you don't really ever want to use it outside of getting the stacks up. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. Also, I hate these enemies. I hate these enemies so much I cannot put into words. How much I hate fighting these guys. They're like, they're almost Malboro tier for me. Because Malboros are like straight cancer, right? But these guys are just something else. Hiding their turn order. And then they get high turn rates on pretty much every attack. So even when you feel confident in how the fight's going. See, like, so right here. I, I started feeling confident and that was my mistake. They immediately made me pay for it. Oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> Some of that health back. Okay, so I haven't talked about his Crystal 65 yet. And it is, in my opinion, the best Crystal 65 ability available in Global at the moment. So... It gives him some Max Brave Overflow at Crystal 70. It's 20%, which is pretty nice. But the best thing about it, see both my attacks right now are base. Immediately turns both attacks to plus. So, I'm just sitting here, and I'm walloping on the enemies because there's, you know, there's nothing they can do. They're basically rooted to the spot. <clears throat> so yeah so anyway B is about to get his attack I don't I do not care the ESPN do not at all and we're gonna summon Alright, and so begins the Renzo spam. Yeah. 
Now, ideally, I would have taken more time to set up so that Noctis had uh, both of his skills at plus entering the summon. But because of these guys' mechanics and how you never know where they're at, I really didn't want to take the chance of them pulling some kind of bullshit. Because I, I these guys do the most inexplicable shit sometimes, and it drives me up the frickin' wall. Okay, so it's saying Squall has three turns coming up. I'm calling BS on that hard. And I don't know where the enemies are coming up. Oh, Noctis has a turn. What, so Squalls, all those all those Squalls were, like, legit? What? Okay, well. Goodbye, B. Okay, so I'm fairly confident that A is about to get a turn. He's, he's, yeah. So let's, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this. Oh my. Okay, good. He came out of break. Now, something else that Noctis does. When he's at Fire Armager Stacks, which I'm at right now, he has access to an HP attack plus plus. So it's 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 a regular attack where it hits his regular HP attack plus, and then he follows up with a counterattack. The man is is something else. I I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. He's just... He's absurd. And that's without his EX. He's capable of that level of destruction without his EX. Granted, he has synergy. I'll give you that. He's got synergy. But you give the man an EX. And this dude will just go and go and go. Yeah. Hit the high score, absolutely no problem. Yeah, it's just... Oh my god. Okay, well... So, Noctis has uh, been reborn, and uh, yeah, I I would, if you're on the fence about uh, whether you should draw from him or not, let me just let me just help you out and nudge you in the right direction and say do it. He will last you ages. <laughs> the, guy's, the guy's nuts. I will also, in the description below, uh, link an analysis that Broadway Saiyan did on Noctis, if you guys would like to check that out. I think I did a pretty good job explaining how he works, but if you just want like a full deep dive into him, then... That video will be there for you to look at. Anyways, I've talked long enough. Have fun just slapping these guys around. It's just so much fun using Noctis. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care, guys, and thank you for watching. See ya.